Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, I'll be answering the question, can you connect multiple audio interfaces to an iDevice, such as the iPad or iPhone? Now, before we begin, I want to highlight that I'm using an iPad, which has a lightning port at the bottom. And so if you're looking for a video specifically about the USB-C port on the newer Apple devices, then you might want to look for another video. However, I just want to say something about that. I highly suspect that it doesn't matter what type of model, Apple model, iPad or iPhone you have, the answer will still be the same. No you cannot connect multiple audio interfaces to an iDevice. iOS simply can't handle more than one audio interface at a time. It's either the built-in microphone or whatever you plug into the headphone port if your iDevice carries one of those, or it's one audio interface. So for those of you who are impatient, you can now move on because you've had your question answered. For everyone else, stick around because if you want to see what happens when you try to do this, well, that's exactly what I'll be doing in this episode. Okay, so a quick introduction of the stuff here. So this is an iPad mini 2, but as I said, the model doesn't really matter. You will get the same result no matter what model you use. Here I have a Novation Audio Hub 2x4. It's a great device, but Novation no longer makes them. And now the closest thing you can get is an audio fuse from Arturia, which is also a great interface. Over here, I have a Fun Generation UA202. You should really make these with headphone jacks because that's a great little device to have, actually. I really like this one. Here I have something completely brand new. It's called an iRig Stream and it's from IK Multimedia. I didn't pay for this one. IK Multimedia sent this over to me by request. And so, yeah, I'm really happy to try this out. This is actually something I'll be using on my new channel that I created for streaming only. I'll put the link up here in the card and down in the description. So all of these works like USB audio interfaces. And I'm gonna try to connect at least two of these at a time with this thing here. So let's begin with the Novation Audio Hub. This one is wall powered and you pretty much need a powered connection through a lightning to USB 3 connector like this one from Apple in order to get the connection working. I've already got power plugged in here. And so all I need to do now is to find the cable where did I put that? So now I just need to connect this package to the iPad here and it should switch over from the microphone to the Novation Audio Hub inputs. It'll take a little moment and hopefully it'll switch over and there it switched over. So if we check the input here in the hardware input, we can see that we've got the Audio Hub 2x4 left and right channel connected. Now, since the Novation Audio Hub has a USB hub down here, we are going to try to connect the fun generation directly to this thing. This is bus powered. And so all we need is a USB cable, which I have here. So I'm going to connect that first. Come on. I'm messing up already. Do I do I retake this? Right, so let's connect this to the audio hub and let's see what happens inside AUM here when we do that. And there it switched over the connection. So if we look in here at the hardware input, we can see that it says USB audio codec left and right. And we can now test this out. So if I connect um, a cable to the input of this thing here and I do a little And if we try it on this one, we'll see that, well, we're not getting anything. So what happens when we try to disconnect the UA202? Well, a lot of the times I actually do get crashes when doing something like that, which isn't strange. You know, you're constantly plugging USB stuff in and out. And sometimes iOS will get confused, but let's see what happens. We'll disconnect this and let's just remove this thing here. And it actually looks like we have a signal here because I'm still connected to the audio hub and we check the hardware input and it says audio hub two times four. So as you can see, you just cannot use multiple audio interfaces with iOS. Now there is another way of connecting this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this little dongle mess over here 
and I'm going to remove the audio hub from this equation. Put it down there. Let's remove the USB 3 to lightning adapter and we're gonna be using a CCK or camera connection kit as many of us call it. And here we have a powered USB hub. So it's already powered. You can see that. I think you can see that there's a red light in there. And we just connect this thing to the CCK and then we bring back the fun generation UA202 and connect this to the uh, this thing here to the hub and then connect that and everything to the iPad and hopefully it will switch out the input from the internal microphone to the um, no it didn't do that okay so let's try to do this and there we go hopefully it will switch it out now and there we go it switched it out to the uh, USB audio codec left and right and now the fun generation is running we can see that by the light so what will happen when we try to connect the iRig stream? Now, what I like with IK Multimedia is that they ship these um, devices of theirs with multiple types of cables. So this one comes with a USB-C cable, a lightning cable, and also a regular USB-A cable. So let's connect that into the hub. And let's see, it looks like it's running. Let's see here, hardware input, iRig stream. And let's do our little test here with the signal, connect this thing in here, and we can see that we're getting no signal. But if we go to the iRig stream, we're probably gonna get a signal. And yes, we do. So there you go. That's what happens when you try to connect multiple audio interfaces to an iDevice. Now, if there are any beginners watching this, uh, you're new to the world of virus music making and you're planning on connecting external USB devices to your iPhones or your iPads, then there is something I really need to point out. So listen closely. When it comes to the Apple adapters or these lightning to USB adapters, there is this constant question I see from people. Where do I find good ones and where can I find cheap ones? Well, here's the thing. I always recommend buying the original stuff. I know they're pricey, but I do have some very good reasons for recommending the original, very expensive stuff. And so what I urge you to do is to watch this video. This is a very thorough video that goes into an error message that might pop up when you're trying to connect external USB devices to your iDevices. And I'm pointing out the five most common issues. But at the second point there, I'm explaining exactly why it's so important to buy adapters that are MFI certified. Go watch that video. Seriously, I've linked to it down in the description, up in this card and at the end of this video. Now, if you stuck around to see me do this uh, really tedious stuff, this is actually what I do uh, behind the scenes many times. I'll sit and test stuff like this for ages, over and over, trying to break connections and stuff. And that's why my reviews take so long to make. And this is just one part of it. I am this thorough because I want to be able to provide you who are viewing this with good, proper information. That's why I always open up my videos saying, hey, this is uh, about lightning connected devices and not USB-C and stuff like that. I want to make sure that my viewers are getting what they're looking for and that most questions get answered because that's, that's just important to me. By the way, I really want to thank all of you who have already subscribed to this. Uh, well, it's, it's still empty because I haven't put up anything. I've already like verified it and stuff like that, but you still have to wait 24 hours before you can stream. And then you need about a hundred subscribers and you need your channel to be uh, 30 days old before you can actually change the, uh, the actual address. Well, either way, thank you so much to all of you who have already subscribed there. I really appreciate it. And I am looking forward to doing music stuff there and having fun with all of you. So thank you so much for watching this through. If you liked this, if you felt that you learned something from this, then why not give uh, this video a thumbs up? Also share this video uh, on any forums where people might be asking about this because I've seen this question so many times on forums um, and on groups on Facebook. And yeah, so if you wanna find some good forums and Facebook groups and stuff like that, you can look down in the description. I've got a load of links to various uh, sites that all dabble with uh, 
uh, or deal with or are based off of um, iOS music making. And you'll also find the link to my new live stream channel. And you'll also find the links to all the social pages uh, online uh, where you can find me. I've been talking for way too long now. Either way, I really appreciate you watching through this. And as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you.